Um, yeah, hi, I'm Tina Newlove, and uh, most people know me for my paintings, oils, and watercolors, but I also like to do collages and sculpture and a little bit of everything. So. Uh, well, oils are my uh, main medium, and I just love working in oils, all the different layers and the colors, and uh, just to so lush the paint. Uh, but then I do, I love working in watercolors too, and a lot of the smaller watercolors end up being um, ideas that I work out for my oil paintings as well. Right. Right, yeah, well, um, I do, I have worked in acrylics uh, for a number, mostly my live paintings or underpaintings and things like that. But uh, I love the freedom the oil paint gives me in um, the slower drying time for just blending and working out ideas and, and then also like layering and glazes and stuff is really uh, beautiful in the oils. So I just, yeah, I have always since university uh, worked through with oil paints as my main medium. So my creative process, I often will just start with a blank canvas, a wash, um, and more patterning and just uh, free form, that kind of thing. That'll be my first wash and playing with textures. And, and then from there, that's when I start working in my subject matter. Uh, for me, I have a lot of recurring themes, very uh, abstract, figurative. So there's, there's figures in there usually, but you can't always uh, make them out firsthand. And it takes a little while, you have to really look at them. Yeah, and so um, some of my themes really incorporate a lot of the Campbellville landscape and the rolling hills, and I go for my walks every day, and so uh, even though there's a lot of just abstract shapes, a lot of them are based on, on nature and trees or, you know, just those things that I see out on my walk. The best part about being an artist is just working away in my studio, <laughs> going for my walks and painting is my favorite thing to do, so I love that that is my job, and uh, enjoy, enjoy all of that. <laughs> oh, the coolest art tip that I've received is actually more about the profession, and uh, I was told by another artist that I should be keeping one or two of my best pieces each year for retirement. <laughs> And also, so you have your own collection and your own estate that you can also pass on, which I thought, I hadn't really thought of that before. And uh, I thought that was really great. Yeah, like, I guess, um, yeah, I'm excited about showing some of the watercolors for the studio tour. Uh, these ones I painted at the picnic table at the Pinery Provincial Park uh, just a couple weeks ago. And I'd like to do some more based on uh, that wonderful camping experience. But um, yeah, I'm going to have some of these little ones for sale at the studio tour, as well as some of my larger framed watercolors, uh, women in a red hat and uh, sailing through the day um, as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I'd, for the studio tour, I'm inviting people to walk our labyrinth, which is in the field and just enjoy the day and the artwork. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope they'll stop by. But uh, so the outside circle goes all the way around, and then this is my one sign so far. <laughs> bluebird bench is this way, where there's a nice bench to sit on by one of the bluebird nesting boxes, and then the dragonflies goes to a little dragonfly sculpture. And uh, then it makes its way around if you can find your way to the center.